Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of OR Auction Reviews where we showcase some of the most amazing cars for sale around the internet and today we're looking at a 1998 Daihatsu Hijet deck van with a five speed and four wheel drive. So this is a unique van. So Daihatsu had made um, a K, K vans called the Hijet and this actually gives you a cutout in the rear effectively turning it into a double cab uh, pickup truck almost um, although it is quite small in the back let's see if we can quickly look back there so not a ton of usable space back here but this might be one of those few vans that really offer you know pretty decent utility while still having a back seat a little thing of note with these high jet vans, they do not, and let me confirm with this one, but they typically do not have uh, seat belts in the rear and this, this one included. So very interesting little truck. Um, so let's take a look at the specs on this one. So, so this says it's a high jet van, which features a pickup bed with a tailgate, as well as a passenger van uh, compartment with sliding doors, uh, right-hand drive imported from Japan, 660cc twin cam, um, inline three linked to a five-speed man manual transmission, and push-button four-wheel drive, so 12-inch alloy wheels, sliding rear doors, air conditioning, rear bed, half a bed with a tailgate, and 41,000 kilometers or 26,000 miles and is now offered with a clean Tennessee title. So these engines typically in the high jet have anywhere between 38 and maybe 50 at most horsepower. So these typically top out at around maybe 65 miles an hour and the engine is screaming at 65 miles per hour. And let's see over here, looks pretty good so far. Let's see some scuffs going on over here. Gunmetal black racing wheels, Dunlop tires, spare wheel mounted under the bed. You see a different uh, seat, driver seat than the passenger seat. So replacement driver seat is trimmed in gray. It was installed to accommodate taller drivers. Interesting. Front passenger seat and rear bench are upholstered in gray and are complemented by a color coordinated dashboard. Interesting. Nismo steering wheel. Fizz electronic tachometer. So yeah, typically they didn't come with a tachometer. There's your spare underneath in the back. You can see the differential. 660 cc rear or all four wheels five speed manual let's take a look at this walk around video limited use as a pickup truck. But it could be a sweet spot vehicle for a lot of people. Twin cam. Let's take a look at this video. other videos let's take a look at some of the photos here 134 photos you can see that there is some imperfections here it looks like it may have been damaged at some point and possibly re repainted you can 
Let's see some damage over here as well. So K uh, vans typically had a lot of leg room in the back seat, and this included. So honestly, this could be uh, usable as as interior space for cargo. So you have an opening rear window, that's a pretty nice touch. So being that Daihatsu is a Toyota brand, should be a pretty reliable truck. 12 valve, got the three cylinder. 350 kilograms, roughly 700 pounds can fit, can uh, be accommodated within the, the bed. Looking pretty nice inside. The, um, the non-OEM seat is throwing me off a little, but it does look pretty comfortable. Same thing with the steering wheel. I prefer OEM when it comes to steering wheels, but it doesn't look too bad in here. Forty one thousand kilometers. Four wheel drive selector. Air conditioning, which is great to have. There's a Nardi shifter. Cup holders up top, little storage pouch. Nice little touch. There's your glove compartment. Back seat, basically the same as the van, and I'm sure it folds down. There you go. Gives you that flat cargo area, which is pretty useful. No seat belts in the back. Those typical of K vans of this of this time. Headliner looks pretty good. You got a sliding rear window, which is a nice touch. There's your engine, probably under the passenger seat for access. Your differential for the rear. There's your VIN number. This is your VIN number again. And there you go. And that is a quick review of this 1998 Daihatsu Hijet deck van. I'm curious where this is going to end up. Where do you think this will end up uh, price-wise? Uh, leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.